But listen, you had the shoe deal. You had the vans. <laughs> I did. Let's talk about this. The shoe was called the... Uh, well, the Caballero High Top. Caballero <laughs> High Top. 19... Well, I got sponsored by Vans finally. I got <clears throat> I got my first pair of Vans probably in 1977, 78. Oh, really? Yeah, cuz I cuz when I started skating in the skate park, mm-hmm. um I got my membership 77. And then I started skating in the skate park and then I saw I I showed up in Nike's. Oh, you did. Because I I mean, you, you know, Jordan's all the time, yeah. This is way before Jordan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um so in the magazines, a lot of the pros were wearing white Nikes or gray oh, Nikes yeah. or blue Nikes. And I'm like, I have, I got to have them Nikes. Hmm. Yeah. You know, this, this is a skateboard shoe. But then when I got to the skate park, these guys are wearing Vans. And then I look at the magazine, there's this cartoon of um, a factory or a skateboarder saying the skateboarder shoe Vans. You remember that ad? Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like a picture of Stacy Peralta and then the brown high top and... Um, I'm like, oh, I got to get the skateboard shoe. Mm. So then I heard that there was a, a van sh- store in Los Gatos near the skate park that sold strictly sold vans. That you could get specially made vans. Oh, wow. It was one of their stores, one of their flagship stores, because they had like a maybe four of them. Mm. And there was one in San Jose. Okay. In Los Gatos area. Oh. And I went there and got my first pair of low top vans. And I actually got, they sold this little like plastic um, ankle brace that you could put on your ankle um, Dude, if you had smart. low tops just in case a board hit you. Oh, we, wow. You know, a board hit you in the ankle called ankle bite. Yeah. Sure. You know, shark bite. Shark bite. So I bought those two. Okay. And then <laughs> after that pair, then I end, ended up getting um, the style 138, which is a high top. Okay. Brown. I think it was blue, blue and white. Right. And I started wearing those. So I've been wearing Vans since 77. That's insane. But I didn't get asked to be on the team until, and get paid. Yeah. Till 1988. Yeah. So we were getting flowed, being on, on Powell. Mm-hmm. Vans would send Powell. Powell the shoes, and then Stacy would distribute to us. Like if we go to his, his house, okay. we'd get new Vans. Right. So it wasn't on the team. Mm-hmm. And then I think <clears throat> around 1988, because of 19, between 85 and, and 88, and all the coverage we're getting in the magazines, I'm wearing Converse, I'm wearing Pumas, I'm wearing Air Jordans, I'm wearing the very first Airwalks. Oh, yeah. You know, not the puffy ones, the ones that look like Chuck Taylors. Mm-hmm. They were so terrible. Okay. They were like, <laughs> they were worse than Chuck Taylors. You know how light Chuck Taylors oh, are? Yeah. They're they thin. Were thin. These yeah. were thin. Super thin canvas. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think Vans saw, saw that and they wanted their market share. And I at that time, they, they saw interest in me. Yeah. And, um, I had a, got a call from Everett Rosecan, Rosecrans <clears throat> saying, uh, we want to sponsor you. We want to pay you. Oh. So I worked out $800 a month. 800 bucks a month. Yeah. Wow. And were, you, were you the first rider they picked? Or they already had a team at that point? Or? I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe they were building a team. Mm-hmm. But I really didn't pay attention. I just knew like this shoe company wants me to ride for them. And then immediately they had this idea of like, and you know, we want to make a signature shoe with you. Immediately. Pretty, pretty much. Maybe six months later. Wow. Yeah, and I'm quick. like, well, that's cool. <laughs> signature shoe. I've already had a signature board. Sure. Get a dollar a board, sell a thousand boards, get a thousand bucks. So I, I get that. That sounds good. It sounds great, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I can do that with shoes. I get the contract from Vans. Uh-huh. I look at the contract and it's like, okay. 75 cents a shoe Uh-oh. and then the more shoes you sell you get less of a royalty oh yeah what? how does that huh? yeah i got the more shoes i so, so, sold what's money you make the royalty <laughs> got lower and lower and lower like the percentage sure and i'm like how does that work <laughs> like you know what i mean i should be compensated for the more shoes yeah. right and yeah. I, I i went back and i said um this contract is kind of it's lopsided it's like it's, it's wonky. like it's like why are you guys going to make more money if I'm help promoting selling these shoes? Well, they're like, well, if the shoe's selling, you know, um, it's not because of your name, it's because we make great product. And this was, <laughs> this was the mentality of Vans back then, sure. the CEO, whoever approached me mm-hmm, at that mm-hmm. time with that. And I'm like, well, that's retarded because I can sell a dollar a board. Yeah. And the more boards I sell, I make more money. So I don't get this contract. Like it's not, 
doesn't make any sense. So I'm not signing it. I don't care. I don't want a shoe. Wow. Yeah. A month later, they, hey, we want to do the shoe with you. I'm like, no, not doing it. Oh, my gosh. A few months later, um, you want to do the shoe? Because we really want to do the shoe. And I'm like, no, they con- you've changed the contract because it sucks. You sure. know, it's yeah. like it doesn't benefit me to help promote the shoe. It's lopsided. Yeah. So then <clears throat> I go, Lance, check out this contract, man. How Look how retarded this is. Yeah. Like the more that I sell, the less that I'm getting. It doesn't make sense. And Lance goes, well, you can look at it two ways. You could get ripped off. And no, you could not get ripped off and make no money (laughs) or get ripped off and make a lot of money. (laughs) Right. That's Lance's mentality. And I thought about that. I'm like, Hmm, get ripped off and make a lot of money. Don't get ripped off and make no money. No money. Okay. I'll sign it. (laughs) I I signed it. So you signed it. Signed it. So nowadays you're making nothing off the hook. (laughs) (laughs) That's a whole nother story. For a long time. (laughs) That's no, so that so they make this shoe. I mean, the, the original, right? That's the original half, half cap. That half actually cap. came out in 92. 92. The original shoe. So the original shoe came out in 1989, the okay. Caballero high top, mm-hmm. which probably would have came out six months earlier if I would have signed the contract. Right. So this whole thing with Nautis and me getting the first shoe whatever so they really weren't bending on trying to give you a better deal at all no they really they they, they wanted to do the shoe really bad they wanted to do the shoe and they were stuck on it you know and they had no one had ever have a have a signature shoe especially in america Mm -hmm. did you design the shoe um well if you look at it 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 has a little bit of a jordan Mm -hmm. to it Mm -hmm. and so when i drew the shoe i had a little bit kind of like looking like the shoe Mm -hmm. and then they had an artist there draw something as well yeah. and it kind of matched kind of what i was looking for okay so i said yeah let's just go for that right so we went with it and then <clears throat> they they showed it to me and it had like this like alligator dra- uh dragon scale like like collar? On, on the collar mm-hmm. on the sides and i'm like oh it looks pretty cool and then they wrote my name with a, it was a dragon mm-hmm. and then the, t- the tail was a c yeah and then yeah. said caballero so they they wanted to to keep the dragon theme. Gotcha. So we put the shoe out. Yeah. And they started doing ads and people started buying the shoe. Pros started wearing the shoe. It started showing up in magazines. Yeah, wow. Right? And from 1989 to 1991, <clears throat> this is like the transition from vert to street. Yep. Street cab. A lot, yeah. So a lot of... No, street cab wasn't... Not yet. No. But it's coming. It's, he's coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I noticed a lot of pros were like cutting the shoe oh, in yes. half and duct taping it. And also like guys were like putting stickers to hold the foam in. Mm-hmm. And I think either, either Chet Thomas or or it was Frank Harada was like s- sewing it. Maybe it was Chet that was sewing it okay. together. Oh. And I'm like, that's so cool. Like, and I'm like a trendy dude. Yeah. So like I like to follow trends. I'm like, I want to be cool like these dudes. I'm going to cut mine too. So I started cutting mine and started <laughs> duct taping them. And like after the third pair, I'm like, dude, I'm so over this already. <laughs> like I'm going to call Vans right now. Vans, like, hey, there's this like crazy trend going on with my shoe. They're cutting my shoe in half and they want it that way. Can we just make it that way? Yeah. And I'm like, it'd be cool. Like. Um, we'll call it the half cab, oh. you know, because it was already a trick back in the day that yep. was made up. And um, after your name, right? Well, after the trick, <laughs> after the trick, the caballero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that's another story. We'll go back. We'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll go back in time. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, we haven't forgotten. So, and then I always liked the jump man. Yep. Not for the Nike shoe, because I was like uh, intrigued by it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, I can, we can get a, uh, an image of me. I found an image that Mofo shot of me doing a half cab. Okay. We could have that on the side, have half cab, and just make them like that. And we'll add different colorways. Because the first shoe only came out with, was a gray and black, and then a maroon and gray. Okay. And then that's it. And when the half cab came out, it was like tan, green, blue oh black. you had a whole yeah. line and then all of a sudden everyone was wearing the shoe it was showing up on the cover of thrasher like yep. henry sanchez um you know eric cost i mean everybody carol Solomon, carol my oh, carol yeah. 
he that must have been a trip i don't know i didn't trip on it because no? it was just part of what it was it was okay. i never tripped on it because it's it, i kind of treat it like the board like i got my board people started riding it mm -hmm. you know people started showing up it was just cool i mean i just like yeah i was i was stoked on that and but i still had the same contract how many years was this contract? That must From have been like three to years. Or... 90, well, the shoe came out in 92. Okay. So in 93, they got a new CEO. Oh. And my contract was up. Let's renegotiate. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And what was cool about that was they came to me and they're like, this is a whole brand new CEO. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, we're moving vans globally like we're going huge we're going into department stores we're this is, vans is blowing up right. we're getting our shoes made in korea now and now we can make way more mm. you know um so they closed the the shop in um los orange. gatos no 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 that was just a shop oh that was they a... closed the factory down in orange county oh, the factory because that's where the shoes were made okay so i designed another shoe and we called that the low cap oh uh, yep yeah um, which was even lower because like street skating was starting to get, you know, had its momentum, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and I started, well, I, that's when I was street skating a lot. Right. And um, we want to negotiate your contract. I'm like, okay, I want a solid amount now. Yeah. And if I sell a certain amount of shoes, I want it to equal up. So I ended up getting like a dollar 25. Wow. I negotiated a dollar. I mean, I probably could have asked for more, but yeah. it's whatever. Dollar 25. Sure. Yeah. And then the shoes blew up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I designed another shoe called the Cab 4. Yeah, okay. And then the Cab 5. Right. And the Cab 6 and the 7. And each shoe was different design. Mm -hmm. You know, I got, and I started drawing the shoes more and, and I would just send them to the, the designer and then she would do her thing to make them more where the people can read it. Gotcha. And, and you know, the dimensions and yeah. everything. And it was a kind of a cool thing, mm -hmm. you know, and we had this thing going for a while until probably, I want to say the cab eight where it, I still have a sample of that shoe. It was never produced. Okay. It was pretty techy. Well, it the like shoes lead, Nike, like it was really techy. The but. shoes leading up to that you, you were pretty techy yeah. too. Like puffy. Yeah. Cup soles and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think at that point someone, and we had gone through different CEOs over those years. Meanwhile, the half cab still half cab running. was still selling, but they've always kind of kept it in the line. Sure, um, they never really promote the half cab, which is mind-boggling to me because it's one of their best-selling shoes. But when's the last time you ever seen a half cab ad? It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. 1988. But they don't. 92. It's <laughs> crazy though. It sells I mean, so good. And they don't advertise seriously? it. That's amazing. I feel like you could do an entire like, team of people just riding half yeah. cabs. Oh yeah. Yeah. You hear that, Vans? <laughs> <laughs> Frank Gall, get ready to get a package. Let's, <laughs> let's have a meeting. Let's renegotiate. <laughs> no, seriously. Let's renegotiate. Yeah. So, you know, 1989 mm -hmm. comes and... No, oh, no. Um, so, the Cab 8? Yeah. That's never, probably never. 90, what? Six? 90s. When did Rowley come in? Oh, wow. 99? 98? It was around... 99. Yeah. 99, 99. Yeah. So, a year before that... 66, um, yeah. They're like, we're not doing the shoe. Mm -hmm. We're going back to the Vulcanize. We're going back to... Rowley, Rowley really pushed for that. Well, this is before Rowley showed up. Gotcha. So they're telling me we're not putting the shoe out. That We're going a whole different direction. We need to get our market share. We need to get back to our roots. Right. So then I get a... Um, I'm on tour with Vans and um, Steve Van Doren approached me. He's like, hey, you know... Uh, we need to re renegotiate your contract uh -oh. again. Here and we I, go. And at that time, they had a bunch of different pro models and and pros riding. Yep. And for some reason, Vans wanted all the contracts to be the same. Oh, interesting. So my dollar twenty five went back to seventy five cents. Mm. So I had to. I had to. That was like a blow to me. Yeah. Like I was like, here <clears throat> is a guy I totally respect. And has helped me out my whole career is telling me we're gonna cut your royalty in half. Wow. And I'm like, really, dude? Like, and I, same thing, same mentality came back. Like, I'm I, I'm just blessed and honored that I even have a shoe. I'm sure. like old, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm almost like 35 years old, right? You yeah, know, and yeah. I have a still have a shoe. <clears throat> and I'm like, whatever, it's cool, you know. Like, 
could have been like, no, I'm quitting. Right. What, you're going to cut it completely in half? Yeah. Like, I could have been like that dude, like, I'm not getting a pay cut. Yeah. I'm, so street, t- I'm street cab. Street cab. <laughs> <laughs> Full effect. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you took it. I did. Yeah. You know, I'm like, you know what? If this is going to help Vans out. Sure. I'm, w- I'm with it. You've supported me all these years. And then all of a sudden, Rally gets signed. And then I see a Rally ad every single month sure. promoting and I'm like, oh my goodness, that they're promoting this dude heavy. Yeah. And here's my pridefulness going like, I've never got that love before. But because who he is mm-hmm. and he negotiated that, more power to him. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Right. And I was like, there's a little jealousy going in like, why haven't I gotten the love that he's getting? You know, and I and this was the short sightedness, short sight, short sightedness? Sure. Of, that makes sense. I understand. Of like not seeing the future of what the impact rally is going to do to vans right. completely. Yeah. And here's me going like, Oh, I can see why I got the pay cut. That other 75 cents is going to pay for those ads. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's just my own mentality. Opinion, yeah. And mentality thinking like, cause that's money that I don't have anymore. Sure. <laughs> Still selling the shoes, but where's that money going? Right. You know? So then years down the road, rally builds vans back up. Guess, guess, guess what shoe gets popular again? The cab. The half cab. The half cab. <laughs> right? So I'm like, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. So I look back at like my mentality and my thought of like, I'm glad that I went with it. I'm mm-hmm. glad that I didn't put up a fight and I'm happy for Rally for his, what, his success. Right. But his success built my success. Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. You made more money with the 75 cents than compared to what you would get the dollar twenty five in the long run. In the long run, if he didn't build Vans back up yeah. and, and exactly. made my shoe a really great sell. And this is... Without advertising, once again, yeah. I'm still waiting for that ad, man. <laughs> <laughs> In the streets. Yes. 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 What do you want me to do? A 20 stair rail? Street <laughs> cab. Yeah. Let me get mm. this femur healed up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, but uh, so, you know, it's just, it's just life, man. We're yeah. so, as humans, we're so short sighted. We don't see the benefits of things, yeah. you know? And that's just that's just normal. I mean, you can't see you know, you don't have a crystal ball, right? So you don't know the effects. So sometimes you gotta just go with it. Yeah, 